Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and it is a Unity filled day today it seems. Earlier on we had the announcement that Unity 6 is released and thankfully no idiotic runtime fee. Now Unity have been correcting a lot of their mistakes recently and I think with that they've got a newfound confidence that people might be willing to buy things on their asset store. Because today they also launched not one, but two bundles here. Actually, in this totally seamless edit, there's a third deal to be aware of in addition to the two bundles, and that is there's a 50% off Cinti Studios deal going on right now. So it's the October the 17th right now. This should last for about a week, uh, and you can actually get Cinti stuff 50% off. But the big thing you want to know about is there's also a giveaway to go with that. So uh, Polygon Construction, low poly 3D art by Cinti. You can get this guy completely free. Uh, just use the coupon code Cinti2024 at checkout. So add it to your cart, check out, add that code in, and it will be zero dollars. So that is in addition to the bundles that we are covering in this video and of this seamless edit. And they're actually pretty solid deals if you are still interested in picking up stuff for Unity. So what we're going to do is jump in and take a look mostly at the Unity 6 toolkit bundle, but there is another one here as well. So you can see this is going to run for about 20 days. By the way, if you use my link, I will get a small commission and thank you so much for that. It was organized into two tiers. So you start at 15 bucks, you get these five items, or you go up to 30 bucks and you get these items. We're going to go through all of the items in both of these bundles. On top of that, there is another one called the Quick Start Asset Pack. I actually think this has been running for a little while. We'll get back to it in just a second as well. So the first one here, in the first tier, the $15 tier here, you're getting GUI bundles, 10 styles. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you're getting the 2D RPG top-down tile set kit pixel art. And get an idea of the kind of stuff included in this kit right here. Then you're getting the M Farm RPG asset pack. So uh, not a lot of overlap usability between these if you're not doing it, unless you're doing a farming RPG game. And then we got the 2D Fantasy Dreamland game asset bundle. Again, I, I guess there is possible you could use these together because the art style is similar. Yeah, I guess the, the art style is close enough. It wouldn't mash too badly. Uh, then we get into the game 2D water kit. So you're going to notice that is pretty much the $15 tier, very heavily into the 2D asset stuff. So if you need to have 2D water, that's what this one is all about. By the way, you can see which pipelines are supported. This one does not support HDRP, by the way, but it does not look like the kind of thing that you would use for HDRP. So that is the first tier, the $15 tier. Uh, where it goes next is the $30 tier. You buy the $30 tier, obviously you get all of the $15 stuff. And then here you're getting all of these various assets. Let's do a quick run through of what is there. By the way, if there's something you really want to see me do a hands-on with, let me know. But to be honest, most of the stuff here is pretty straightforward. Uh, so the first thing we have here is a very animation. It's an asset for editing animations in Unity. You can modify animation animations and create new ones. Possible to directly edit uh, Mechanum humanoid animations, uh, which is normally quite difficult. So for animation editing directly inside of the Unity editor. Then we've got the Medieval Fantasy Sound Effects Bundle. Really straightforward. It is a collection of 2,944 sounds, including magical spells, medieval weapons, bone and bl uh, blood and bones, monsters, environments, interface, UI, etc. And then we move on and we've got a Sinti asset pack in here. This is the modular fantasy hero character. Now, I actually think that this one was part of a recent Humble Bundle. Uh, so do make sure you don't already own it, especially if you follow this channel for all of the deals and bundles and such I cover. Which, by the way, if you don't, I cover all that kind of stuff. Maybe hit the uh, subscribe button and stick around. All right, next up we have the Sweet Candy Sugar Match 3. This is a template for creating your own Match 3 style games. Um, this is for doesn't say the pipelines, so maybe it's pipeline agnostic, but it's basically all the attributes you need to create um, Candy Crush style games. Uh, then we get RPG Magic 3 Elemental. This is another sound effects pack with 777 sound effects. Great for JRPGs, Asian and Western MMORPGs, battle arena games, animes, and more. I wonder if they picked that because of the lucky connotations. Curious. We have Force Environment Dynamic Nature from Nature Manufacturer. Now, I do have to warn you, this one has definitely been in prior bundles. So make sure that you don't already own it if you are interested. Uh, as you see here, compatible with all the major pipelines. If you're looking to create, you know, a forest environment, that is what this one is all about. Next, we have Lively Chat Bubbles. So if you want to have chat bubbles in your game, that's what this is all about. A complete system allows you to create, configure, and execute dynamic communications throughout a scene. Very easy to use components and video tutorials show the depth and breadth of the system. Uh, so rich text, fully supported, auto-resize based off the contents, and so on. So if you need to create 
uh, thought or text bubbles. That is what Lively Chat Bubbles is all about. After that, we have the multiplayer top-down shooter template with netcode, lobby, and relay. So if you're creating a top-down shooting style game, as multiplayer for two to four players, uh, player settings, name and color, public game sessions, private game sessions, ability to change server regions, auto update of available regions, uh, and so on. So basically, and then you got various different weapons already implemented, power-ups, and so on. So if you want to create a multiplayer top-down shooter, this is a template for doing that style of game. Uh, then we have one for first-person shooters. So if you want to create a first-person shooter, this is the FPS engine. I think this one may have been supported in the past as well. Uh, so again, it is a template for creating first-person shooter style games uh, compatible with all three major pipelines. Uh, and then we've got Toon Fantasy Nature, uh, it, world environment with that uh, tune shader style look um pretty straightforward again uh this one works with uh built in and the urp but not the hdrp uh speaking of that tune shader approach this is a shader kit uh for doing tune shading and water shading uh there's been a few of the i think this one may have already been featured not 100 percent certain uh, i do like the results it gives though at least from the screenshots um, so it is a complete solution for achieving the stylish cell shader look, and it works with built-in and URP, but not the HDRP. Uh, from there, we go to the all-in-one sprite shader. Uh, so you can see it in action right here. Uh, creates and powers game developers. Forget about shaders. Speed up your graphics workflow and make your dream game a reality compatible with all pipelines. Uh, so dramatically deform the way you work with Unity. Take advantage of lightning fast workflows, tools, and awesome combinations to create beautiful sprites, UI elements, particles that will uh, take the visual of your project to the whole new level. Not really a great description of what it actually does. Um, stack and combine 46 plus completely different effects, endless possibilities, easy to use, two-click setup, lightning, fa lightning fast workflows, uh, and so on. So that is the all-in-one sprite shader. Then we get to the easy build system, modular building system. Uh, you can see the actions there. So it's not building as in building your game. It's building as in like Fallout world creation style building. Uh, simple and modular building solution that makes developing uh, easy for all developer system lets you add advanced building features to your project quickly and easily. Works with all major pipelines. Uh, and then we've got that is it actually. So then the uh, that is the, the two tiers of this particular bundle. But there is the one other as well. So that was the Unity 6 toolkit going on for uh, 20 days. Uh, and then the other one, this one has just kind of been running constantly, so that's why I haven't talked about it, but this was released a while ago, I believe. Um, and yeah, so this one is a straight out 20 bucks, and you're getting the UMMO RPG Remastered RPG Engine, Survival Engine Crafting, Building, and Farming System, uh, Dreamscape Nature, uh, Stylized Open World Environment, Damage Numbers Pro, uh, the 2D RPG Top Down Assets, uh, the Turn Based Strategy Framework, Basic Motions, Modern UI Pack, and the Sinti Prototyping Pack, which by the way has been in a ton of bundles in the past. So there's a good chance if you ever buy bundles, you probably already own that one. Uh, and that is so basically templates for creating MMORPG, survival style game, uh, pixel art top down or turn based strategy game. It's got some stuff in here for UIs and animations and so on. Uh, and that one is 20 bucks for the entire bundle. So again, we got these two bundles right now going on, the Unity 6 toolkit and the quick start asset pack. Of course, leads me to a couple of questions. First, what do you think of these bundles? Do you see value in them? Are you thinking about picking them up or nah, you're gonna pass? Second, what do you think of Unity bundles in general? Are you back in the Unity ecosystem and, or maybe you never left? Are you happy to see sales start up again? Or um, have you been like once bitten, twice shy? So let me know. Of course, I will always cover this stuff when it comes up. So uh, let me know what you ultimately think of these two bundles and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.